Hi, Meg here. In this video tutorial, I am going to go over how to add a Facebook like box to your website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the URL at the top, and that's developers.facebook.com slash docs slash plugins. That's the easiest and most direct way to get to the place where you need to go. Here you'll see all the different social plugins that Facebook offers that you can integrate into your website. Um, we're going to scroll down to find a like box right there and then we're going to go ahead and select that. So here basically you get a preview of how the box is going to look on your website. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to cop want to copy the Facebook page URL that you want showing up on your website in this box. So I'm going to do my Meg the Media Maven page. So here we see the preview of how it's going to look. Even option to adjust the width so depending on your website um, you're going to want to customize this. For me I'm going to make that 250. Perfect. You can also dictate the height. There's an option to show the faces, so basically you can show the fans um, that like your page or not. So this is how it looks when I unselect it. So I'm going to keep that selected. You're able to choose a color scheme, light or dark. So just depending on the look of your website. Um, you're also able to show the stream. So basically that's showing all the posts that um, are occurring real time on your page. And when I unselect it, that's how it's going to look. So it's a bit more clean and it doesn't have the scroll bar. I'm going to keep that option. You're able to choose a border color, so again, depending on your website um, look and feel. And then you're able to um, take away the Find Us on Facebook or the header. So if I unselect that, you can see that that goes away. Okay, I'm going to keep that on. A call to action is always a great idea um, when asking people to like your page or um, do other types of actions like that. Okay, so it's ready to go. I'm going to select Get Code. I typically use the iframe code, it works best for me in my WordPress site. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that code. Now I'm going to head over to my website. So anyone who uses WordPress will recognize this dashboard. And um, here I'm in my widgets section. Okay, so I'm going to delete this guy here real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and find my text widget where I'm going to place this Facebook text within. I'm going to paste the code that I received from Facebook. I'm going to hit save and I'm going to hope it works. So I'm going to head over to my website, refresh that page, and there it is. Beautiful. So here you can see this is your like box. Great. Enjoy. Have fun.